Keep Eugene here with a review on the Ultima Sentai King Oger Sentai Hero Series. Oh, Kuwagatha Oger. Yes, friends. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at its tag. Uh, as you can see, it says Osama Sentai King Oger. Right here it says Sentai Hero Series Oh, Kuwagatha Oger. And then right here it says Oh, Kuwagatha Oger in English. And then uh, right here, here is the Kingdom Emblem, which is the emblem of Shugatam. Alright friends, so Okawakatha Oger is a extra evil senshi of the series, so he is not the 6th senshi, as the 6th senshi of the series has been confirmed to be a white senshi known as Spider Kimonos, so Okawakatha Oger made his debut in episode 8 of King Oger. So in case you are new to this or don't have a clue about this line, the Sentai Hero series is a line that started in 2001 when Gal Ranger was airing. And it started this line of the figures in a five and a half inch scale. As of this year, these have been downsized to a four and a half inch scale. So when you squeeze them, yeah, they're soft. So the soft vinyl figures are a soft plastic vinyl figure doll. So take a look at the Okawagatha Oger vinyl figure. And so here he is, Okawagatha Oger. So he is pretty much a repaint of Kawagatha Oger, but this time in a silver as his main color, making him our silver senshi of the series. As he still has that very nice glossy paint that is still very accurate to the show on the vinyl. As the silver on the vinyl looks like a gray, but it's like a darker silver color. So I'm guessing he's a prototype of Kawagatha Oger, as this reminds me of Mega Silver from Denji Sentai Mega Ranger. As Mega Silver was a prototype, but became the sixth senshi of the series. As O Kawagatha Oger is the extra evil senshi of the series. So the visor still has that nice stag beetle design. The stag beetle eyes on both sides in a nice gold this time. And then the chest, uh, the chest in that armor design sculpt as well, which again is not that bulky armor on the suit. And so anyway, right here got his kingdom emblem, which is the emblem of Shugatam. And of course, you got the nice shoulder pads on both sides. Looks really nice on both shoulders here. And then uh, on the left arm got his half cape, which is molded to his arm. Uh, still looks uh, weird compared to the other arm. So uh, anyway, and uh, this time you can see here he's got the gold elbow cuffs on both arms as the main five core King Olgers were in a silver. On the torso, he's got the two-tone colors of silver and gray as it is throughout the suit, uh, pretty much on the arms and then on the legs. And so, getting a little close up here, but there is his older holder, still in black, and the King's Hotline in the center, in black and silver, which still has the nice detailed King Older emblem, a little. And then, uh, uh, right there, there is the holster uh, for his Older Caliber Zero, which is in his actual color, and not in black. And then, uh, he's got the uh, nice armorish sculpted knee pads looks really nice there and then uh, he's got the uh, gold for the boot cuffs so on the back uh, which is the case here with vinyl figures mostly with missing paint mostly on the elbows and on the boot cuffs which should be all gold and then uh, we should have some black for the older holder Again, seeing more of the half cape on the back, but we're also seeing more of that nice, shiny, glossy paint. And lastly, friends, articulation, uh, which is standard for these vinyl figures, which are movement in the arms and movement in the waist. So doing a quick comparison with Lupin X with Okawagatha Oger, and you can pretty much see this is a darker silver color here compared to this one here. This is an actual silver, which does have a nice speckled silver in it and everything. 
And uh, of course, here we are going with a five and a half uh, inch scale vinyl figure to a four and a half inch scale vinyl figure. So that's pretty much the difference. But I mean, this is a much prettier silver than this one. But I mean, and it's pretty much this one here being the reason why it's being so dark because of that glossy paint it has. So doing the comparison with Kawagatha Oger and O Kawagatha Oger. So same sculpt and design but different color schemes between the two and I do like this color scheme on Okawagatha Oger giving me more of an evil vibe as with Kawagatha Oger's color scheme giving me more of a good vibe. So yeah two brothers here with you are the king and lord of the shoe gods and I still like um, the fact that the stag beetle jaws sticking out on the helmets on the two. Well, friends, final thoughts. So I do like this different color scheme of Kawagatha Oger, now known as O Kawagatha Oger. Like I said, it's got that evil vibe that I dig, and it's a nice addition along with our King Oger vinyl figures. Also, friends, you can customize these on your own to make them even better for your collection. And so, yes, friends, I so 100% recommend this and this entire King Oja toy line as well. And, of course, these vinyl figures here are cheap. So, again, good luck and happy hunting. And so, friends, that's it for this review. Please check out my blog. And make sure, friends, you hit that one on the new video. And, of course, my friends, review on the Ultima Sentai King Oja Sentai Hero Series Oh, Kawagatha Oger. I hope you enjoy. My friends, I'm Eugene. I'm saying good day. And my friends, I'm most assuredly. See you next time. Bye, friends.